Well, welcome back to the cafe. We'll head along to the Mastercraft Kitchen shortly to check in with Mark's smoked kingfish recipe. And this morning, Hamish joins us with a very important home design choice. Couches, sofas, living room essentials, and the tips on what to do right and what not to do that can go very wrong. Good morning, Hamish. Good morning. Yes, when it goes wrong, it goes horrendously wrong. Okay, well, I'm going to start with that. What are the things that can go wrong? Okay, um, I, I think the catch here is don't rush into your purchase. Uh, I see this quite often, people say, I found a couch, I bought a couch. I'm like, really? Because we haven't even put the kitchen in the house yet. Uh, and, and, and that can be the start of, of, a, of a problem. Because when you're out shopping and you're looking at bits of furniture, you're looking at them in a showroom setting. Yeah. You're not looking at them in your house. With mm -hmm. your stuff. <laughs> well, well, this is it. And um, it, it scales the problem here. They can either be too big for the room, or they can be too small, and I have to be honest, too small's worse than too big. Oh, I agree, totally. Yeah, nothing worse than walking into this huge lounge and you look down and you go, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. and there's this tiny little couch. What's that one then? Okay, well, well that's slightly large for the room, as we can see. <laughs> yeah, um, but big is good, because you've got to have it's something to lie on. Well, well, okay, and, and, and there it is. Okay, we'll talk about style and choices a little bit later on. You know, um, the biggest issue I'm seeing too now is, um, and a mistake that people are making, is we now live in a lot of two-storey buildings. We live in a lot of apartments. We live in three-storey yeah. um, terrace houses. And people rush out, found my couch, and then the sweet delivery man brings it in his truck, and uh, the two burly men get out, and they go, Really? Because hey, it ain't going upstairs no, up that what, hallway. See, that's rubbish because I lived in Hong Kong for six years and you should have seen the places we got couches there. It is true, you can do it, but I just got a new list of costings from the delivery company and they've skyrocketed now due to our sweet Osh rules. Oh, right. You Fair can't enough. lift them over balconies. So you do have to think about okay. it. Okay. Uh, tell us what are the right steps in to when we're choosing okay. our sofa. What do we when you're going in, I want you to check the depth of a couch. Okay, this may sound, sound odd, but there's a... a distance between the front of the couch and where your back rests against it. Right. They vary quite greatly. Some people have shorter legs like myself <laughs> and I'm the guy who looks like a nine-year-old sitting on the couch, you know, your little, your little legs case. are dangling out there. So it doesn't work for me. It's slightly embarrassing. If you have a mixture of taller and shorter people in your home, what you should do is have a couch like that that has the back set further, but you've got to make sure you have some decent supporting cushions okay. to allow the small person like myself to move to the front. So we come back to checking scale, uh, and here's a tip for you too. Yep. When you are measuring the length of a couch, or you're, or you're getting a measurement, it is from the outside of the arm to the outside of the arm. Right. So if your couch has big thick arms, it means the inside bit's smaller. Don't always go down the road of thinking two-seater, two-and-a-half, and, and three-seater, because those widths can vary. A prime example is a two-seater can run from anything from 1475 wide to 1750 wide you know right. so there's a variation once again you want to check that exact couch yeah out. and worth having a measurement just in case you've got a certain area that's got to go into and if you've got a big one it just you can't jam them in those arms don't come off they don't come off no <laughs> they don't that. that's yeah. another thing too for moving if you are in a tighter space you want to think about something you can get your feet off <laughs> not one that's got fixed feet okay let's talk about fabrics fillings and quality okay well this, this, this gets interesting because there are two types of styles of couches with their fillings. There's, um, you know, there's a, a feather mm -hmm. style couch, very soft, very comfortable, and probably a slightly more casual look. And then we have the foam wrapped fillings. So that's a squab, it has a Teflon wrap that goes around it, which helps the fabric not shift and move as much on the squab. That's obviously gonna give you a more contemporary, clean lined look. To be fair, it just comes down to what you like. As Mel said, if you want to recline and relax on it yeah. and you want something that's really mushy and squishy, that's great. Just be aware that you're going to be fixing it up the whole time to keep it looking tight. Oh, you know, no one wants to do that because, um, I mean, we want something stylish, don't we? Well, yeah, I mean, it, it's a personal thing. I love a good, comfy couch, mm. maybe something linen covered. Something you can rest your head on too. Yeah. Very important, not skinny little arms. Exactly, or you can just have lots of cushions you can pick up from somewhere and throw them, grab the pillow, jump on the couch with your blanket. I always do the lie down test if I'm looking at a couch. Yeah, you <laughs> Can I lie you on it? Watch the telly. You, <laughs> and that's not a bad call. Now, when it comes to fabrics, it's about choosing something that's fit for purpose, effectively. So, uh, nice. if you've got children, you might want something that's an indoor outdoor fabric. I opted for this fine, fine yeah, thing. That's a good one. Oh, look, there's dirty feet because um, no one ever. I go for the feet. distressed look. And you can clean it and you can wipe it down. Now, when it comes to leather and you're choosing leather, there are many grades of leather. They all come numbered. Yeah. So you've got. We'll break it into three for you. You've got your more cost-effective levers, you've got them in the middle, and you've got yep. your expensive. Cheap leather, not so nice to sit on. In the middle leather, that's the one you want because if you've got a family, it's endurable and you can clean it down, but right. expensive leather's going to stretch and it's going to go haywire. Okay, let's not do the expensive then. In the middle, or actually, I'll go for the cheap too, to be honest. Uh, great advice. I've got kids. They just get everything messy. Uh, thank you so much for that, Hamish. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, it's great. been wonderful, and we look forward to you next week. Now, let's head over to... Oh, Holly, you right there? 
I just am um, trying out our couch actually. Hamish, what about our couch? Does this work here? Running smooth, hun. Yeah, well, you chose it, so it better be. <laughs> 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 All right, maybe. <laughs>